Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I will explain in detail how to create the most overpowered Grazor build in all of Elden Ring. The Marix Executioner Sword, like the Rivers of Blood and the Blasphemous Blade, is a unique weapon from the base game that becomes vastly more powerful with the new items featuring the DLC, making it an absolute beast for dominating Shadow of the Earth Tree with ease. This weapon was already among the strongest available, but now it's probably the most broken melee option you can find in the game. This Grazor scales B with Strength and D with Arcane. It deals mostly physical damage and a minimal part of magic damage, but it doesn't scale with intelligence at all. The most important part of this weapon is its unique skill, Eochite's Dancing Blade. <laughs> Furious piercing attack that spins the blade as fast as a drill, dealing multiple hits in a very short time window. This skill is the best ability for efficiently maximizing successive attack buffs, as it allows you to quickly reach the highest stage of these buffs due to its rapid multiple hit nature. It has a very decent range, which means you can use it from a safe and comfortable position. Even though it might look a little complicated to use, it's actually pretty easy. Besides dealing a ridiculous amount of damage, it's quite effective at breaking the stance of the toughest targets. However, most of them will be completely destroyed before you even get to that point. First of all, I'm going to show you the build and then we will beat every major boss of the game and the DLC without taking a single hit. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. We are going to be using the Marais Executioner Sword on plus 10 and any skill we have available to cast our main buffs. We need any weapon with the Raptor of the Mist as a war to be able to dodge the Mikelas AOE attack. I'm going to be using the Dancer's Armor set, cause if we wear the set completely, we are going to boost the damage of the Eochite's Dancing Blade skill by 10%. But I am aware that the Dancer set is not great at defense, so an amazing alternative is the Rakshasa's Armor set, cause if you use all pieces of this set, you will increase your overall damage by 8%. As you can see, it's a minimal difference between one and another, but I really want that 2% from the Dancer's Armor set. And my character is female, so she looks nice in that dress, dude. Anyways, as I always tell you, feel free to use any armor set you want. The best talismans we can use for this build are the Shard of Alexander, the Godfrey Icon, the Millicent's Prosthesis, and the Roaring Windsor Insignia. In this case, I strongly recommend you to use this exact talisman setup if you want to get the most out of the Eochite Dancing Blade. But if you are missing one of these talismans, and I hope you are missing the Godfrey Icon, you can use the Blade of Mercy. The strategy I would use if I was lacking of one of these talismans is to break the stance of my target, deal a critical hit, and then destroy it with the skill. But I promise guys, this is the best and definitive talisman setup for this weapon. In our flask of Wondrous Physique, we are going to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear and the Thorny Crack Tear. And in the same way than with the Talismans, this has to be your Physique setup, otherwise your damage won't be as high as mine. But if you really, really don't want to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear, then you can use the Magic Shrouding Crack Tear, maybe, maybe the Stone Barb Crack Tear. But I insist, guys, this is the best Physique Tear setup. With this weapon, we are not going to deal only physical damage. However, in some fights, Hall of Shabriri doesn't last enough. So in that case, I will be using Blood Bowl Aromatic. But if you don't like crafting, Hall of Shabriri will be very good as well. The only problem I find with that buff is that it doesn't last enough. And this weapon consumes a lot of stamina, so be sure to craft some Pickle Torten Legs to boost your stamina regeneration speed. In order to obtain the max performance of this weapon and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 50 on Vigor, 20 on Mind, 35 on Endurance, 80 on Strength, 14 on Dexterity, 32 on Faith, and 40 on Arcane. Golden Vow and Hall of Shabriri are going to be our main buffs. And as you can see, I have my Scatter Tree Blessing on the level 20, and if you want to delete the bosses as I do, then I strongly recommend you to have it on level 20 as well. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we make this weapon dance? <laughs> Ok guys, now I'm going to show you how to buff your character with this build. First you have to use your Flask of Wondrous Physic, and then you will cast Golden Vow and you will lead a Pickle Torten Leg to boost your stamina speed which is completely optional but you know I, I like to do it. Then you will cast your Body Buff, in this case Howl of Shabriri or Blood Boiler Aromatic, I will use Howl of Shabriri. In most scenarios, sometimes I will use Blood Boiler Aromatic but both of them are pretty much the same. Finally, refill your FP and you are ready to go. We use it one time and we destroy the HP bar of the bosses but we don't use it multiple times. What is going on? Oh my god, this guy. Wow, I can't believe what is going on now. <laughs> no way, the range! <laughs> the damage and the range! <laughs> Hey there.
That is very strange. Say goodbye. Nice, baby. Finally, bro. <laughs> okay. Nice, beautiful baby. Let's get him, boys. Let's get him. Nice, bro. Impressive. Let's go. Oh, this is amazing, bro. I love this weapon. And we're running. Oh, that is very good. No, oh, this is not good. Come on. Oh, <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Take this, bad boy. Okay. Nice. Get melted, buddy. This was some. <laughs> this was better, dude. <laughs> Let's do this, baby. Let's destroy this bad boy. Okay, homie. Oh my god. Mm, that was very close. Oh, this is nice. I got this guy. Nice. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> nice. She doesn't have resistance to this type of damage. Let's go. Let's go crazy, guys. Oh, no way. Come on. Heavy attack, nice. Are we getting the full combo? Nice, we are getting the full combo. Nice. I'm getting baby. Amazing. We get him. Nice. We got him. Come on. We got him. Let's go! <laughs> nice, baby. Okay, guys. The problem with this dude is that he has a, an HP barrier, you know? So we are going to reduce its defense with this thing. And here we have a gap. A perfect gap. And he's done. <laughs> now, this Rodan is a complete joke <laughs> compared to the new one, dude. <laughs> okay, let's see. We nice. That is the best thing we can obtain from this guy. Let's get him. Oh, beautiful, bro. Nice. Okay. So first we freeze him. Oh, he dodged that. That is insane. Wow. Again. And we chain him. And we are up close to him. Let's go. I really felt like the damage stopped running for a moment, bro. And suddenly we destroy him. Let's go crazy, baby. Oh, no. This is not good. Okay, I have range. No. Okay, I guess it works. 
Nice, that is a great position. Don't get melted, body. Boom. Beautiful, guys. Let's go. Let's do this, baby. Get destroyed, Malenia. Boom. That is a lot of damage, baby. Oh, no way. Let's do this. No way. Ah, <laughs> first try. What up, buddy? You look nice today. Wow, that is a dirty attack. Okay. Okay, take this. Come on. Let's go, guys. Epic. <laughs> Here we go, guys. He's coming. That's fantastic. Amazing. Beautiful, guys. Let's go. Nice. Get him. Oh, I love this weapon, bro. Okay, we are not stopping, guys. Let's go. Nice. Beautiful. Come on. Crazy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Come on. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. Amazing. Here we go. Let's do this, guys. Let's go, baby! We did it! Nice! 